Brian Paddock has revealed that his husband, Petter has died peacefully alone at their home in Oslo, Norway. The Liberal Democrat Pierre, 64, took to social media to share his devastating news with his 14,300 followers on Monday morning and said Brian's cause of death is not immediately apparent. In a tweet, the former Ima celebrity. Get me out of here, contestant said, my beautiful, loving husband, Petter Belsvek, has died suddenly at our home in Oslo. He was found peacefully alone, with no cause of death immediately apparent. It will take some time to establish what happened. We were devoted to each other and I am devastated. Brian was soon met with an outpouring of love with loose women and Emma celebs Charlene White saying, Oh my goodness Brian, I'm so so sorry. Sending you and the family my love 20. Labour MP Jess Phillips spent, sending love. While Sky News K Burley tweeted, My dear Brian, this is truly tragic news. All my thoughts are with you. Stay strong. Claire Fox added, Oh Brian, how tragic. You have always spoken so lovingly of him. I am so, so sorry to hear this. Little to be said, except many will be thinking of you and sending as many positive thoughts of support as possible. While little is known about Petter's life, the couple met in a bar while holidaying in Avizia, before going on to tie the knot in Norway back in 2009. At the time of their nuptials, same-sex marriage had been legalized just over a week earlier and their ceremony was one of the first high-profile weddings since the legislation was put into place. Speaking about how they met, Brian told the Daily Mail in 2009, I was minding my own business on holiday in Ibiza when I met Petter. Inevitably, it was my last day and having spent just 24 hours together we parted with me believing I would never see him again. He went on to explain that there was a divine intervention when Madonna was playing at Wembley Arena and Petter would be in town to see her live. Brian recalled offering Petter a place to stay at his home in order to save on extortionate hotel costs, a gamble which he says paid off. When they met, Brian had been working 18 hours a day as the deputy assistant commissioner of the Metropolitan Police at New Scotland Yard, while Petter was an engineer in Oslo. The pair went on to enjoy their relationship but often kept it out of the glare of the media.